Alright, so welcome back everyone. So today's our video two on a HTML basic series um tutorial HTML and CSS. So for today what we're going to learn is we are going to learn how to make a table how to format your text and inline element which is I'm going to go over later and ID and classes so that's everything we are going to do I'm gonna go ahead and save it that's everything we are going to do learn today all right so let's take a look so for the group practice we are going to write all this these stuff these good stuffs down uh, head and body good so let's take a look how to make a table so here is my example table oh damn it it has this bullet point thingy uh, let's take a look about what will each part do let me fix this really quick So, okay. So, what you're seeing right now is called table. And you can now see that in my right hand side, the screen is ready to show the table. And then, by the way, um, uh, yes, uh, HTML doesn't care about styling. So even if I just write it like this, it will still render it because it still recognizes the tags that I'm all using. But for good human prevention and for good practice, we really highly recommend we first is make sure we got a good style and then make sure we comment some text to make sure we know what are they doing so we know if we, so we can let other people to know easier and quicker about what are we doing all right so here we go this is a table you're going to say oh my god how am I supposed to know this? Okay, so this is not a perfect table. Since we didn't learn any CSS style yet, you can just say, but it's rendered as a formatted table. Okay, so let's take a look on first attack here. Table. What this do is obviously this declare This declare. So um, I'm gonna write down here. So what table did is so table tag declare a variable. Okay. I mean what? Okay, my bad. What am I thinking? It's declare a table. Declare a table for table. Okay, this declare after I should not write it. So this is table and this is slash table, which is mean the stuff between here are actual content of table. So we'll break down in piece. Now we're going to take a look about this part. 
Okay. T R. What T R stand for? It stand for table row. Okay, like this is this is count as a row. Okay, first name, last name, and age. This is count as a row. And as you can see, uh, so just 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 say hey table, I want to make a new row. Okay, and then what's really interesting here is T H. The tether in this row. What this do is you can see th means a first name, and then there's also a last name right here, and there's also an h. But they are declared using th, not td, since this is special for the table header. Okay, this this is the header of the table. And now, so we, we now learn the table, uh, how to, uh, what is table tag for, what, what is table, how to express table row and table header. So now, at every time we want to create a new row, you need to include TR, which is a new row. So now let's look at second row here. So you can see this include TD, not TH anymore. TD means table data. So it's actually the stuff that's storing right here. And it's going to buy with order, like Jill. First name is Jill, last name is Miss, and he is 50 or so. And there's a Eve Jackson, 94 or so. And then slash TD, slash TR, slash table. So that's basically the layout for a table. Don't be worried. Okay, you, you don't really have to memorize that. You can just search it on the internet, then just copy and paste. In fact, this table is copied from w3school.com. So if you want to check check that out, you can go to w3school.com. And in fact, our whole tutorial series follow part of this. W3 school and there's a really good exercise if you want to check that out. Okay. So that is table. Just a recap, table tag define a table. TR is mean table row. TH is mean table header. And TD is mean table data. Alright. So now we're going to move in on. We're going to move in on how to format your text. So suppose I put some random stuff in. Uh, let's create a new paragraph. So this is my first table. Yeah. Okay. So you can see this is pretty normal. Okay. So since we didn't learn any CSS style yet, we're just going to style it using HTML, where, which is formatting them. So first of all, what we'll learn is I'm going to bold. We, you, we can use B for bold. Oh. But I'm going to show two ways that you can express bold. This is one way. And strong is also going to express bold. You can see these two doesn't visually have any difference, and I don't know what difference between bold and strong. So, but technically we support the drawn more. Okay, okay. So we we usually use strong, but strong means this text is strong something. I didn't really know the difference between strong and B. Okay, so this is B and strong tag. B is mean bold text and strong is mean important text. Now we're going to learn italic. So, as same as the strong, italic has also has two ways of expression. So, you can see this is, I italicized the first. This is one way to do that, and 
I also can do what we we call emphasize them, which is change to e m, which is literally the same thing. Okay. Next, I'm gonna try mark. All right. So what this will do, as you can see, it highlight the text for me. However, I cannot change the color since I didn't learn CSS style yet. Okay. But this is just a quick way if you want to mark them using yellow highlighter or something like that. Next, we got a small text. Small text. So this will be the small text. As a sound. It just make it smaller. Okay, guys. See, this is, and yeah. So we didn't learn CSS style, which is mean we don't know how to um actually change the font size. But if you want to change it smaller than regular size, you can just do using HTML. And next, we will learn deleted text. Deleted text. So suppose I don't want this to be my first table anymore. You can see this just at a line cross it. That's mean okay. Yeah. So this still exists. Okay. Th this doesn't necessarily mean you delete. You take them off from your、uh, web page. It's just at a line in front of them. Okay. To me, it's no longer accurate. Which changed, or something like that. The L for delete. And next, we got inserted text, which I'm gonna change it to ins inserted text. Oh, so you can see it's underlined. It. And finally, I'm gonna write a new stuff right here. So, did you ever wonder how to write a fraction in HTML? Usually we、we'll、write like this, right? Right. So now you don't have to worry about that anymore, because you technically can subscript and superscript them. So let's take a look. What will that be? Okay. So this is supposed to be here. Sub. Okay, so it's still not perfect, but okay. So this how you will would like to would most likely refraction in real world. Okay, that's、um, how we express it, and I will learn CSS style. Which will actually make it into like actual fraction, like one over two. Okay. All right. So that's all the formatting text we're going to learn. And it's also a quick challenge for you. I want to express this. Uh, I want to express how to express two to the Third power. To do the third power, so basically that means I'm going to write exponent. Or if you would like to, it's like write this. So I want you to change this using sub, subscript, and superscript. Change to that. There's a little challenge you want to complete, and you can post on comment for your solutions. All right. Next, which is a little bit confusing, what is the inline element? Well, as you can see now, we didn't learn CSS style yet, which is like make our web page really boring. But after you learn the CSS style, unfortunately, it's still going to be boring. Okay, just visually satisfied, but it's not like brainly satisfied. I just use my new English word. Okay.
So what inline element going to do? Is it going to be really helpful when do CSS and JavaScript? So suppose I'm gonna create a div. I'm gonna say hello world. This is my third web page. Slash div. As you can see, nothing has been changed at all. This is just exactly the same as a paragraph. Then why should I use that? Well, I'm just gonna do some spoiler with it. Okay, so for example, if I type some paragraph key such as like a uh, text, let's color the red. Well, what you will see is literally every text changed color. Okay, if I change this to P, It will also change the color. But if I change change this to div and I can add a custom tag to it, which is like color, let's say black um let's say uh purple. So you can see this can be really good at uh, different thing tags. And we'll learn more about them um on CSS tutorial, which will become sooner or later. Okay, so that's all. Um, but yeah, so that's div, and we usually span for some same purpose. Span for same purpose. So hello world. You can see this two. two. Oh, okay. So do have some changes as you can see automatically do a line break. Alright. So good. So far so good. And now it's time for our last point for today, which is the fourth point. We're going to talk about is ID and the classes. So what ID is is we're going to actually we're going to go back with this paragraph stuff. What if I only want to change this change this line to red? Well, I can't do I can't do all uh, other things. I mean, well, you can see if I I can change all the, I can change this to div, but I just too lazy to do that. Well, actually, well. You can just add an ID. So where is it? Fraction. So I'm going to add an ID. For example, let's say fraction. So now I can customize in my CSS property, give it individual stuff, for example, color blue. Yeah, it changed to blue now. So what will happen is it's override the paragraph, but it's not override all. It's just override this line. Okay. All right. So that's ID, and ID can be really useful in JavaScript if you know the uh, the tree get element by ID stuff. Okay. And one point you must remember. Is ID must be unique. ID must be unique. Why you will ask me this question? Well, we are going to take create a type of content next time to use of our knowledge. We might we will create a type of content. So what type of content is going to do is, for example, there's a link here. I click it. But it doesn't direct me to other web page. It just directs me to a certain section of this web page. And ID can help us to achieve that goal. And we're going to dig more deeper on that in maybe some future videos. And finally, there's a thing called class. What is class? Well, let me just add another paragraph. Thank you for watching this video. Good. 
So, oh, I always forget period. So, what if I only want to change these two text, these two paragraph, to, uh, to uh, let make them color orange? How can I achieve that goal? Well. Here is the way to do that. We can't, we technically can't make them the same ID. For example, let's make ID um, paragraph. ID paragraph. Good. So now what I will do is I'm going to add another. Don't worry about all the CSS property. I'm gonna one day use uh, all the tutorial to teach you on that. So as you can see, actually, as you can see, the para. Okay, I always spell it wrong. Sorry, I spell paragraph wrong. Oh damn it! I spell paragraph wrong. I should get an achievement on that. Oh, where's my result? So. Uh, okay, so you guys, as you can see, it's actually work. I can use two IDs to just let CSS know that well, I'm changing these two at the same time. But we will do better. Cause you can see later. We'll if, what? What if these two are not in same section? I don't want to create a table of content. Well, so what you will do is you're gonna change this to class. All right, you will say, "Hey, why is it not working?" Because you know how to dot. As again, I'm gonna spend time on that. As you can see, now, uh, now we add some. Now, as you can see, these two are, are orange. This is only paragraph tag left. Will be uh red, and this is blue, which is in div. And purple, wait, purple one is in the div and fraction is in the ID and this is a class. So that's show what will uh, HTML do, uh, ID and classes. So ID must be unique, but classes may be the same since you see they, they created to be same. They can't be same, that's why they created that. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna see you next time.